The new 2024 KTM models have finally arrived. It is very different from the TPI models. Today in this video we will explain the important differences and advantages of the new model. The biggest advantages of new TBI model are the suspension that can be adjusted by hand without tools, which will allow every rider to easily adjust the suspension according to their wishes while riding. Also a big advantage is that you can remove the oil pump and use Premix fuel, but that's according to your wish. One drawback is that you can no longer use Kickstart. But KTM have very high quality electro starters, so maybe this is not a big drawback. Also, a big change happened to the subframe and the look of the complete motorcycle, but we'll talk about that a little later. What is the difference between TPI and TBI? TPI stands for Transfer Port Injection while TBI stands for Throttle Body Injection. Each system has its pros and cons, but I definitely think TBI is a better solution than TPI. The only major advantage of the TPI system is that it passed the emissions test. But as far as we can see, KTM has finally managed to get the TBI to pass the emissions test. A big advantage is that you can remove the oil pump on the TBI model, so you can use Premix fuel. While at TPI, it can happen that the oil pump fails and causes a lot of damage inside the engine. Honestly, I like to use Premix fuel and be more sure that there will be no engine failure. While some riders prefer in system with oil pump because it is easier for them to use just fuel, and I completely understand them. The big advantage of the TBI model will be the new chassis design. KTM really tried to make an enduro motorcycle that rides better and nicer. They tried to keep the weight of the motorcycle in the center to get that they unfortunately had to remove the Kickstarter. Many riders will miss the Kickstarter because it gives them the assurance that they will always be able to start their motorcycle even if the electric starter fails. But we must emphasize that KTM has also made a new electric starter that is stronger than the old one and should be more than enough. The bike also comes with a map switch in two maps, one with slightly linear power while the other map is aggressive. You also have the option to turn on traction control. It will be a bit strange at the beginning until you get used to it. On the right side is now the start button but also the kill button. One of the changes is also on the shock absorber clickers. You will finally be able to adjust the compression and rebound with your fingers. You will not need additional tools. KTM has been using this method on the front forks for many years and it turned out to be very useful. Finally, they applied it to the rear shock absorber as well. You no longer have to take the tool out of your bag. You can just stop and adjust the clicks in a few seconds. The new subframe is very light and consists of two parts, consisting of aluminum and strong plastic. This design improves handling and the feel of the motorcycle, but also saves on weight. Many riders will say that this subframe is much weaker than the old aluminum one, but KTM claims that the quality and strength have remained the same. Also the new foot pegs offer riders a bigger contact area which improves the better control of the bike while standing on the pegs. But also this new design helps to overcome deep ruts, logs and rocks. We can't talk much about the engine because we don't have a lot of information. But we can say that this is really the top of technology and that KTM is really trying to maintain two-stroke motorcycles in life. The engine is very small and light, but strong and durable. Really KTM engineers did a very good job. As in earlier models, KTM still uses a steel clutch with a DDS, which has proven to be very good and of good quality. Since the complete engine is new, it was also necessary to adjust the size of the clutch with the new design. The quality of system remained the same as before. It worked great without any problems, we hope it stays that way. The new design of the exhaust will be good news to all hard enduro riders, because it is raised higher in the air and gives you more ground clearance. Also, the last series of TPI models had a ribbed exhaust, and once you bent it, it was difficult to fix. This new exhaust will be easier to repair, but it will also be more difficult to damage because it will be higher from the ground. As in previous models, KTM retained the engine balancer. It reduces vibrations and allows the rider to relax and focus more on riding. The most important thing on the TBI model is the throttle body because it has double injectors. With the help of the TBI system, the new models will be very linear and easy to manage, but you will have a lot of power. This is a part that has been designed and tested in recent years and has finally reached perfection. Also, as you can see, you will be able to adjust the throttle body manually on the yellow and red hand bolts. We can't say for sure what kind of adjustment it is, but we believe it's air screw and idle screw. We are very much looking forward to trying this model to see what the difference is with TPI. With the introduction of EFI, the power valve is controlled according to the throttle position and engine RPMs. Being auto calibrating, there's no more hassle with incorrect power valve adjustments, with the M's calculating the ideal position automatically. This results in linear and predictable power delivery at all throttle inputs. How do you like the new power valve that is electric, or are you more in favor of a mechanical system? We honestly can't wait to test the 2024 model, it looks really good. When we get more information, we will make a video update about it. Thank you for watching.